Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I got this simple and fabulous glitter look. So if you want to see how I done it, keep watching. So we're gonna start off with the priming our eyes. I'm using my Urban Decay primer and setting that with my black opal powder. And I'm just using this lip pencil. I know kids don't be like me, use an actual eyeliner. But I'm using this lip pencil because I like the color of it and I'm just going through and drawing out my crease where I want it to be. And I'm using the BH Cosmetics 5th Edition palette. Yes, I know you should be proud of me guys. I'm not using my Morphe 35O palette. But I'm just taking this brown shade and I'm beginning to define my crease. So I'm going in with this cool tone brown shade and I'm placing that on top of that first brown shade and blending it out. So next I'm taking this Espresso color out of the Alorac mini palette and I am putting that on my crease just to give me some depth. So you really have to have a light hand with this because it's very, very, very pigmented. So I'm just going in and placing that where I want to and then I'm taking a Morphe blending brush and just switching back and forth just to blend it out. So I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm just cutting that crease, cleaning it up, and perfecting it. Yeah, um, you want to take your time with this even though it's sped up, but really get that cut precise. And then after you do that, you're going to go through and set it with some powder. This is just some face powder that's the same color as my skin tone. And I'm just going through and setting that. Now I'm taking this matte color called Sweet Heat and placing it all over my lid. taking this uh, liquid eyeliner and just lining or doing my wing before I do the glitter. I just find that it's easier just to go ahead and do the wing liner before I do the glitter so I won't, you know, mess up anything or anything like that. For the fun part, I'm taking this Revlon Eye Art and I'm just taking the glitter side and topaz and I'm placing that all over my lid. Look how beautiful this is. And it's very super easy to work with but my only con is is that it takes a long time to dry down so just keep that in mind if you have hooded eyes like me you kind of have to continue to look down so you know the glitter won't transfer everywhere so just keep that in mind this product takes a long time to dry So I'm just going in with my regular face routine. If you want to see my in-depth video about that, I will link it here.
is where I made the big mistake. I looked up and the glitter wasn't dry all the way. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and fix that if that does happen. So just I'm taking a flat blending brush and that same brown eyeshadow from the Lorac palette and going through my crease and just basically covering up that eyeshadow. So now after I'm finished with my face, I'm just going through and just blending out that eyeshadow that I had just put on my eye to make sure I have no harsh lines. And for lips, I'm going in with the ColourPop LAX. Now you can go in with something that's less dramatic, but you know, I want it to be dramatic since it is the holidays. But if you want to go with a nude lip, it'll totally be fine. It's up to you guys. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Bye guys.